sure. I am very newly diagnosed. I haven't even been to the vascular doctor. I'm I'm waiting to get in. Um, I'm just like in freak out stage at this point. Um, but here's my question. Um, so I have a lot of trouble walking. I have for 12 years. Um, I've had two back surgeries because they said all of that my hip to my leg pain is all related to my back. Neither surgery corrected that. Mm. If it's possible that this is related to a blockage, could I have had this for 12 years and nobody figured it out? <laughs> yeah, you know, the problem with uh, PAD and why a lot of people go unnoticed and untreated because some of the symptoms are mimicked by other problems. Arthritis is one of them. Arthritis, back problems, sciatica uh, of the Apple. nerve. <laughs> yeah, those often have similar symptoms to arterial disease, which is why a lot of people ignore it themselves. They're like, I'm just getting old. I, I was a football player. I worked, you know, in a factory. I did this. I did that. This is my hips. I got water in my knees, you know. So a lot of patients and physicians think this is aging. You do have, ar you, you obviously do have arthritis and back problems, whatever. So yes. they try to address that, whereas you may have had blockages in your, you know, for those kind of symptoms you're describing, we're talking about things above your groin. So in your aorta or your iliac arteries, if you have problems there, that's when you, you tend to get those kind of symptoms. So the answer is yes, you could have had underlying PAD, but because many people as they get older also have all these other problems, the PAD is often underlooked until there's something that you see. Like if you think about ovarian cancer and pancreatic cancer, most patients don't know they've had it until it's too late because your body doesn't show symptoms until it's spread. Okay. Similarly here, if you don't have other reasons to suspect PAD, it's a long time ago or many recently years ago, people didn't look into it because they're like, you have all these other things that we know for sure. Okay. That's unfortunate. I, thing. So, yes. I was just curious how 12 years has passed and we Maybe see it this all the time. This has been my issue all the time, all, all along, and how we, yeah, it yeah. scares me that it's gone on this long and not been treated. Well, the good news is you are you you're getting diagnosed now, and you can still do something about it. We talked in the beginning about walking as medicine. It's not just about walking, though. You need to learn how to walk effectively to grow those collateral vessels, and the time in which you're able to actually grow most of those collateral vessels is when you are pushing through the pain, and that's when your your body is triggering the the collateral network to kick into gear and start rerouting that blood flow so right. we don't care how long you're walking or how far you're walking what we care about is from the moment that you start feeling that pain how far are you walking and pushing through that without slowing down to the point that it you're almost limping and you need to stop and rest get some relief and then you do it again that's what we care about because that claudication time, if you're working it, like you go to the gym, you're always pushing past that one last rep. You're working with a trainer, you're doing these bicep curls and you say, I can't do anymore. And you're halfway up and he's like, just one more, give me one more go. I can't, oh yeah, yeah. I did it, right? That's the moment that you start building the new muscle and, and things like that. It's the same thing when you're walking. You need to walk like you would be doing those bicep curls in order to get those collateral vessels to grow effectively. Okay. I mean, I'm trying. I started walking. I haven't walked for 12 for years for this reason. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm trying to walk through it. I'm, I'm not getting, I don't think I'm getting very far, but I guess something's better than nothing. Nope. And that's it is. Exactly. And we even have, we have a walking program. So if you go ahead and message me afterwards, I can get you a text-based program that we have that helps you to measure your, your claudication time and to improve that claudication time is what we call it. And we can that walk be through great. that process. No Thank doubt. You. That would be great. <laughs> it's nice when you can actually see that progress that you might not see otherwise, um, you know, every single day. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you both. You're welcome. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump in. It's it's my soapbox. The walking is medicine. <laughs> That's very <okay>. true. <laughs> very true.